and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Moonfire Fair seasonal event for 2019. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in the Af Castle in Upper Limsa Liminza at 11.13. And we need to talk to May um, Aru Moaru. So feels like Moonfair. So, Mayaru Mwaru wishes to regale you with stories, um, all the wonders that await you at the Moonfire Fair. I'm surprised it doesn't say that this is a limited time event. Greetings, adventurer. Are you feeling the heat? Because I certainly... Um, hey, I know you. Thank you ever so much for joining us for another Moonfire event. Uh, the festivities really wouldn't be the same without you. Once upon a time, well, just a couple of years ago, in fact, the Moonfire Fair was a time when adventurers would band, to band together to banish the threat of fearsome fury creatures called Bombards. Now the Bombards are long gone, since uh, at least we hope they are, but the tradition continues as a way to celebrate the daring exploits of adventures, <coughs> adventurers the realm over. And through this, recruit some fresh blood for the realm's adventurers' guilds in the process. A worthy cause, I'm sure you'll agree. But enough with Chitter Chatter. I'm sure you're eager to join the celebrations yourself yet. Um, then, you need only make your way to the Isle of Endless Summer at Costa del Sol and speak to our Grand Chaperone, um, Hermaga. I promise he'll be overjoyed to see you. Cool. So let's head to Costa del Sol. Once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to Costa del Sol um, on this little island at 3626. So let's talk to him. So, well, if it isn't Mifri, I was wondering when you show up. Why... Um, you're such a mainstay around these parts each year that I felt terrible uh, getting the festivities started without you. Anyhow, since you're here, I take it you're ready to take another rousing Moonfire Fair. Oh dear god. So the highlight of this year's event is, you guessed it, the return of that time-honored test of agility and acrobatic attitude known as the Eorzean uh, Nimble Warrior Course. And lest you think that you've seen this all before, let me be the first to say this course has come back better than ever. Yes, Master uh, GG Ruju has spared no effort in providing the ultimate challenge for high-flying adventurers. Word has it he even solicited opinions from the lovely ladies in his employ. <coughs> Those kittens have claws, eh? Or so I overheard him saying. But there's more to adventurous skill set than performing death-defying feats. That's why we're offering two other events, the Iron Culinarian Challenge and Angling Extravaganza. For those looking to celebrate the season in a more relaxed and reflective manner. Emerge triumphant in any of these events and you'll be rewarded for your efforts with a fair voucher. Collect enough vouchers and you'll be able to exchange them for any host of spectacular seasonal rewards. There's also um, just one little thing I was hoping to ask of you. There's this adventurer, see? who's just signed up at the guild, and we can't help but feel that he's in need of some uh, veteran guidance and direction. We figure you'd be perfect for the job, if it's not too much trouble, of course. Wonderful. I can't thank you enough. Uh, whenever you're ready, just say the word, and we'll send for him straight away. Okay. So... Well, let's just do it straight away, shall we? So, thank you so much, friend. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful influence on the lad. Give me just one moment. I'll summon him here.
Mifri, oh Mifri, is it truly you? Why, it's me, your dear friend and companion, um, Artia. We braved the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course together on the memorable, well, sorry, the memorable day, forming bonds of trust and friendship sure to last a lifetime. I'm so glad you came. I have incredible news, and I can think of no one I'd rather share it with. Brace yourself, friend. The mild-mannered boy you knew then is now a God's Honest Adventurer. Can you believe it? Hey there, Miss Adventurer. It's so nice to see you again. So, Artia here just signed up at the Adventurers Guild just last week. Typically, he'd be out honing his skills in hopes of becoming a full-fledged adventurer, but today he's come home to visit his dear little sister for the Moonfire season. That's uh, nice of him, I suppose. There's no hope about it, my good man. Let me assure you, I am fully fledged and then some. Why, just the other day I slew ten fearsome ladybugs in one fell swoop. Guildmaster Yain of Gridania even told me I had great potential. Uh, wow, you really are the bestest adventurer in the whole world. <laughs> uh, would you expect anything less from your big brother? Okay. It's time to take your hello stone. So, hello, hello. Can you hear me, Fluff? No good, those nasty monsters are good beating for me. Uh, try not to get yourself hurt, okay? Hello, hello. Uh, worry not, little girl. Uh, Floof the Fearless will see that these horrible fiends bother the good people of the town no more. Um, I understand that you're probably thrilled to have your very own Link Pearl, but you really should save that sort of thing for um, more essential situations. I mean, it's sweet that you get along and all, but... Um, anyhow... While there might not be any monsters around here as such, I dare say that your sister had some good advice for you. Seeing as how you're still new to this adventuring business, you really should take care of yourself. After all, it's like they say, overconfidence can lead to, uh, well, all sorts of um, not-so-good things. Overconfidence, perish the thought. I have precisely the right measure of confidence to match my rapidly bejurgening abilities. Abilities that I intend to put on full display for Mifri here. And with that, I stake my claim. If Mifri, I hereby challenge you to battle. I mean, have you seen my crown? Not a duel to the death or anything so painful, of course. Our battlefield shall be these very fairgrounds. The first to earn four fair vouchers will be the victor. And to the victor will go the honor and the spoils. Oh dear. Let it never be said that you lack a sense of dramatic. Well... What do you say, Mifri? If you'll be participating in the festivities anyway, would you be so kind as to accept the last challenge? Ha! Huh. I knew you wouldn't back down, but be forewarned, my friend. You do well not to underestimate your opponent today. And with that, let the games begin. Wait for me! Oh dear. Uh, say what you wish about the boy. He certainly doesn't want for enthusiasm, does he? So um, anyway, if you're looking to get started, I'd be more than happy to explain the rules for this year's festivities. Just come and speak with me whenever you're ready. Cool. So that's complete. Right. So, let's see. Anything you can do, and we'll get the white moonfire outfit. So, 
um, Hermaga would explain the rules and regulations of the contest in which you are about to engage. The quest is available limited time only. <coughs> so, thank you, friend. Your presence will go a long way in teaching the lad that there's more to being an adventurer than gallivanting about making bold and baseless proclamations. Now, without any further ado, allow me to explain the ground rules. The name of the game here is of the Moonfire Fair is collecting fair vouchers. These can be acquired through displays of your adventuring prowess and subsequently redeemed for a host of enticing rewards. You can receive a whooping four vouchers for successfully demonstrating your high-flying acrobatic aptitude in the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course. To participate, simply speak to the course registrar standing over by the shore. If you're the type who'd rather keep your feet on the ground, you can also receive a single voucher each time you complete the Iron Culinarian Challenge or the Angling Extravaganza. You take part in these by speaking to my colleagues, um, Hilda Lana or Janago, respectively. <laughs> Uh, should you have any other pressing questions about the festivities, um, Ephlia and her fellow fair attendants would be happy to tell you more. Now go out there and show us all, particularly a certain uh, Malapert Makote, what you've got. I reckon four vouchers should be enough to put him in his place. Acquire them in whatever manner you prefer, then bring them back to me. Okay. Now, of course, guys... You're going to want to see me do the jumping course, right? I, I don't think anyone's expecting any different. So let us give it a go. So yeah. And I tell you what, just for the sake of continuity, we'll pretend like um, this is going to be the first time doing it. Okay, so here we go. Let's give it a, a try. So, high-flying hijinks. The course chaperone would invite you to prove your skills in a timeless test of acrobatic aptitude. So, welcome friend. I trust that you're here to try your hands, or would it be your feet, at the Eorzean Nibble Warrior course. Uh, wonderful. My colleague here will get you signed up straight away. Well, now there's a face I'd recognize anywhere. Welcome back, friend, and many thanks for joining us at this year's festivities. I trust that you're ready to amaze onlookers with your characteristic brand of athletic dare daring do. Very well, then. Without further ado, allow me to explain the rules of the challenge in full. Pay close attention now. You never know what small morsel of knowledge may prove the difference between a glorious victory and a humiliating defeat. Uh, first, just atop the jet of water, um, just hop atop the jet of water and let it propel you to the splash to the start of the course. From there, you'll have to navigate a sequence of precarious platforms and narrow ledges to make your way to the central checkpoint. Two hints for you, move cautiously and try not to look down. When you reach the checkpoint, the first thing you'll want to do is speak with the chaperone station there. It's her job to confirm that all competitors have completed the full course fair and square, you see. From there, it's a straight shot to the goal, where my colleague uh, P. Boyana awaits. The course may appear imposing as well it, as, as it should. Master Gigi Ruju's really pulled out all the stops this year. But fear not, you can take as much time as you'd like. And in the event that you should take any unfortunate uh, premature tumble, you can simply swim your way back to the starting point and try again. Are you ready? Then have at it. My colleagues and I will be cheering for you from down below. Okay. So, let's get ready to go. Okay, here we go. Let's see how far we get. We uh, Jump. 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 Oh, God. Jump. Oh, God, I hate these.
Okay, which is the... I think... I would like to think that the straight one would be easier, because that jaggedy one, it looks annoying. Okay, uh, jump. Jump. Ooh. Jump. Uh, jump. Okay, so we're now halfway. Well, congratulations, you made it to the halfway point, and as challenging as this course is, I dare say that's an accomplishment in itself. So pat yourself on the back and feel free to take a breather before you venture on. My colleague Poyana is waiting at the finish line. Can you make your way there and claim your reward? I guess we'll see, won't we? Okay. Righty. So, oh god. It's one of these. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, God, that was painful. Oh, bollocks. Aha. The next one. So you did it, and just as I thought you would, right from the start, when I saw you leaping and bounding your way through the course like it was nothing, I had a feeling that you were a Moonfire veteran, but now I see that I was right. I trust that you have places to go and people to see, but should you ever wish to show off your skills again for all to see, the Eorzean Nibble Warrior course uh, won't be going anywhere. At least not until the end of the fair. You're welcome to rise to the challenge as many times as you like. Simply talk to the chaperone at the starting line if you so desire. Cool. Right. Now, I could take the slide down. Wasn't there, like, much more to this? If I remember rightly, like, you can actually climb all the way to the very top of the tower. Hmm. I wonder if I should. Well, my question is, how? We. Yeah, so you see that they've added like a custom route all the way up to the very, very top of the tower. Um, well, just so that this video doesn't end up being about four hours long, I guess I'll skip it. But if I decide to do it, I'll throw it into another video. How does that sound, guys? Yeah. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Oopsie doopsies. So, yeah. Anyway, once we get back uh, to the quest mob, we will continue. Okay, so we made it back. So, let's turn in the reward. So, aho, oh back so soon. Let me guess, you've already acquired four vouchers. Yep. So it says, current is minted and distributed by the Adventurers Guild for use during the Moonfire Fair. So one, two, three, and four. And all without even breaking a sweat. Uh, Tia has yet to return, so I do believe that I can officially declare you the winner of this competition. Uh, not that the outcome was ever in much doubt, of course. Anyhow, your decisive triumph should go a long way to giving Tia some much-needed perspective. Speaking of which, uh, did you happen to see the lad out there? To tell the truth, I worry for the boy. When he first came to us a few years back, all uh, starry-eyed and gushing about 
how he was going to be a great adventurer, I was happy for him. After all, what is the Moonfire Fair for, if not to encourage spirited young lads like him to join the ranks of those fighting for our realm? What's more, word has it that the lad lost his family. Uh, that one of the reasons he's so determined to follow his path is so he might protect his dear sister in his departed father's stead. That's why I am all the more worried that he's in over his head. Mind you, we all know how it feels to get a touch over eager um, at our first taste of success. But this lad is taking this to an entirely unhealthy extreme. If he doesn't watch out, he's going to get himself killed out there. That's why I had the idea to recruit you for this little competition. Just maybe, I thought, a small taste of failure at the hands of one of his more accomplished peers would teach him. Uh, gently, mind you, uh, that there was still much for him to learn. Speaking of which, could I bother you to look around and check in on the boy? Just to ensure that he hasn't gotten himself into any trouble, that is. I'd go myself, but I'd be causing uh, trouble if I abandoned my post in the middle of the festivities. Last I heard, Tia has a mind to take on the Eorzean Nibble Warrior course and win for himself four vouchers in one fell swoop. Perhaps you could find him and his little sister over by the shore? Okay, let's do it. So, where are they? Okay. Doesn't seem like they're too far. Uh-oh. So, no sign of tear anywhere. Oh, oh hello, Mifri. Are you looking for fluff? Um, I don't know how many slips of paper he has, but I do know that he's trying really, really hard. I just saw him over there by the spraying water, talking to the man in the colourful clothes. Maybe he can tell you more about how he is doing. I know. Why don't we go and talk to him together? These things are never easy, are they? So, and a very happy Moonfire Fair to you, little girl. I trust that you're enjoying the festivities. Hello, mister. Do you know where my brother went? His name is Tia, and he's a great adventurer. Our what? I can't say the name rings any... Ah, you must be talking about that cocksure Makote lad who just dropped by a short while ago. Why, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that's him right over there. Yes, he's just about to take on the Eorzean Nimble Warrior course. Uh, this is most exciting, don't you think? Ah, I have an idea. Why don't I give you a play-by-play -play of your brother's daring attempt at the course? That's uh, That way you can experience every death-defying leap as if uh, you were right there with him. All right, here goes nothing. So here we have our brave young challenger, Tia. Look at that fire burning in his eyes as he readies himself for the challenge before him. Yes, the boy lacks uh, not for confidence or determination, but you'll... Sorry, will that be enough to carry him to victory today? Are we actually casting him? And he's off and running. There's really no need to run into the water yet, but hey, whatever. Uh, floats the lad's boat. Um, he approaches the water and... There he goes, look at him shoot up high high into the sky. He flies through the air and... Yes, he's landed with remarkable balance and poise given his relative youth and inexperience. 
He stands safely on the starting platform with the Eorzea Nibble Warrior course looming before him. Yes, now the true challenge begins. Um, the boy takes a few measured steps. He looks forward to the platform in front of him and with a confident nod he leaps and... Uh, gods be good, he lost his balance on the landing. Has the Makote lads brave challenge come to a sudden shocking end? So, but no, he's still up there. Yes, he's hanging on for dear life. What strength, what remarkable resilience. So, a slight miscalculation on the angle, nothing more. I'll just pull um, myself right up and... I'm going to hear a splash in a second, aren't I? There we go. <laughs> Oh, the uh, ignominy. I don't even know what that word means. The agony of defeat. Our tears challenge is over, but not for the lack of effort. Give the boy a round of applause. Yay. Um, are you okay? Mifri, you have to help him. Okay. Let's go, um, let's go get him. So, thank you, friend. Why do I feel like this isn't the first time this has happened? <laughs> but Mifri, why are you here? We are in the midst of a heated contest, after all. You should be out there collecting vouchers, not showing sympathy for your rival. Oh, uh... Uh, floof. Are you hurt? You should rest for a bit. Here, come with me. Rest? But... I suppose you're right. The contest can wait. After all, I don't expect Mifri here has more than a voucher or two at this point. Speaking of which, why don't you come along? These fair games take quite a bit out of you. Imagine that you're as exhausted as I am. Yes, I do believe that there should be a suitable place to rest just over thereabouts. Fair enough. Okay. So I guess we're going to go chill. I did... I, I like... I think the fireworks are really cool. I guess they're celebrating the success of the game. So, I ah, yes, I do believe all I needed was a little rest. Yes, just watch me. Now that I know precisely how the course works, I'm going to tear through it in record time. You'd best hurry back out there yourself. Let's look at the jump on you in our little competition. Speaking of which, Mifri, have you managed to get your first voucher yet? They certainly don't make it easy. Actually, I have four. Huh. <laughs> That's a good one, my friend. As if any adventurer could acquire four whole vouchers in such a short... Uh, you aren't serious, are you? But that's impossible. Inconceivable. How could anyone acquire four vouchers so fast? Wow, Mifri, you're really something. Isn't she, Fluff? This can't be. I, I realize that I'm still new to this adventuring business, but never did I think that there would be such a pronounced and quite frankly somewhat embarrassing difference in skill between the two of us. But there is no arguing with the evidence before me. I am simply in awe of your prowess, friend. You are a role model to me and anyone who has ever aspired to be an adventurer. Uh, why to think? I was so foolish as to think I could compete with an honest-to-gods hero in earnest. Just thinking of it, I want to slap that brash and brazen boy in the face with a large harbour herring. But just you watch, Mifri. I'm going to train harder than ever before and hone my skills over time, just the way you did. One day when I truly have the talent to back up my words, will you accept my challenge once more? 
Thank you, friend. You've given me all the inspiration I need today. Yes, it's high time I uh, embarked on my next adventure. Why, I do believe I'll join my companions in investigating those curious rumours surrounding Tamtara Deepcroft. What's this? Hello, hello? Yes, it's me. Whatever is the matter. Uh, you gave your big brother a fright. Just running off like that. I'll be a good girl and stay out of trouble. So just promise me that you'll take the to the fair again next year, okay? And promise me that you'll take care of yourself and not go anywhere too dangerous. I know that you're a great adventurer, but please, I just want you to be safe. I promise, your brother has learned an important lesson today. I'm going to follow in the footsteps of Mifri here and become an adventurer that you can truly be proud of. I'm already proud of you. Um, hey Mifri, do you have any evidence? Sorry, any evidence. Any advice for my brother? He looks really... He really looks up to you, you know? Take one step at a time. Don't run headlong into a horde of monsters. I see, I see. Start small and gradually gain confidence and experience through small victories. Try to do too much too soon and you'll end up dangling by a thread for certain demise, like I was just before. Thank you ever so much, my friend. Why, I've learnt so much from you today that I feel like I've already grown leaps and bounds. I can't wait to put my newfound knowledge to use in my adventures. And with that, I do believe what, that Majha and I should be off. Pray give my regards to Master Hermaga and assume, sorry, assure him that I've taken today's lesson to heart. Farewell, my friend. It has been an honor and a pleasure to do battle with you. Until the day we meet again, may you have the best fortune in your adventures. Bye-bye, Mifri. See you again someday. Nice. Okay, so let's see what we need to do to finish. Now, of course... There's always extra rewards we could go for and extra challenges. But let me at least finish the story. So, welcome back, friend. Did you manage to find Tia? He hasn't gotten himself hurt, has he? You don't say. Well, it sounds as if he's learnt his lesson. And given how much that looks up to you, I reckon it's a lesson he'll not soon forget. Be proud, friend. Adventurers like you are an inspiration to one and all. Not just the boy, but everyone who's seen your exploits here at the fair today. Ah, but before I forget, we had a special gift prepared for you to say thank you for going above and beyond the Call of Duty. Here you go. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more. And with that, um, I should return to my duties. I leave you to um, enjoy the festivities. Remember, you are free to take on the challenges and showcase your skill as often as you like. Cool. So that's complete. So we got the achievement vouched for. Let's see if there's any uh, title with it. Nope. Okay. And let's take a look at the outfit we just got. Is it this one? Oh, it is, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, did we get legs? Was it gloves? Um, I really should have paid attention to what the pieces were. Hmm.
Let's take a look what it was. Oh no, it was just three pieces. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, so this is what the outfit looks like. Now, before we go, let me just quickly see what there's available and how many vouchers you might need. So you can see, you need, you'll need quite a few if you want to get everything. Is there any mounts or minions or anything? Okay, so the different color outfits. Oh wow, an Amazu mask. A Moogle mask. There's a bunch of headpieces to get as well. So there's, there's plenty of other things to grind vouchers for. And like they said, you could do cooking, you could do fishing... You could also do the jump challenge over and over again. And like I said, if I decide to do the more advanced jump challenge, I'll do it in another video. So anyway, guys, um, that's it for today. Now, if you liked the episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.